Hey everybody, Braden here, and welcome back to the final game of my first tournament back since my hiatus uh, from tournament play. So, this is game number five. I'm on plus one, which is two and a half out of four, and I'm hoping to end on a positive score to finish the tournament. So, uh, even if I lose this game, though, I would end on an equal score, which isn't so bad, but my opponent here is lower rated. Turns out they're not. Their online rating is also like 2,000 or 2,200, uh, which is very frustrating when you uh, get back into chess. Sometimes there's, you know, people are way underrated, which, uh, which can be really annoying. But okay, I am playing with the black pieces against Michael, who's now a good friend of mine. Uh, and let's see how the game goes. So e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes. Knight f6, knight c3, and knight c6. And this is actually my main weapon now against the open Sicilian. Um, and it's something where there's a lot less to study. And it's it's just great because I just study. I, I get to study the opening less, which is, is a dream come true for me. Because I never really liked studying the opening too much. So uh, we see bishop g5. I played e6. Queen d2, bishop to e7, long castles, a6, king b1, and bishop to d7 here. Uh, so after bishop d7, my opponent played f4, so this is all kind of like topical uh, theory here. I played h6, I think nowadays I'd uh, consider b5, and uh, there's a funny line here, so takes, 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 we actually just give up a pawn, this is just one of those example lines. Or we can play a move like rook c8. Uh, and right now we're threatening to take on c3, then take on e4. Um, and there's uh, genuinely nothing to worry about here. Uh, because, well, we have the bishop pair. So we could also just go bishop to e7 if we want to. And yeah, it's just a fun position to play. So nothing to uh, be concerned about despite being a pawn down. Which is a little surprising, but... This, this is actually very easy to play. Okay, anyways. So, uh, I put h6 instead. Because I had only been studying this opening for like a few weeks at the time. Maybe a month. Uh, bishop to h4. b5. e5. Uh, which I think is incorrect because of the line we'll see. d takes e5. Knight takes c6. Uh, bishop takes c6. Queen e3. Uh, and then knight to d5. Which I think is also correct. So, there's a funny idea here. Uh, which I thought I had possible. Uh, and it was a trick with a2. So let's see. Takes, takes, takes. Um, and if king takes, then they take with the pawn. And surprisingly, this does not work. Maybe not surprisingly. So after king takes a2, takes, queen c5 check. Of course, there's no queen d6. That would be great though. Uh, king e8. Do not play bishop takes b5 because a takes b comes with check. But just play bishop d3. And the queen is unhappy here. Right now we're threatening queen c6. So if they play queen d2, we play queen c6 as, as white. So I guess if we play queen d2, they play queen c6. Followed by queen b7. Uh, and they just pick up this rook and this rook. They're just up a rook and a bishop. This is completely lost here. So... Uh, that would be unfortunate. But that's also not how the game went. Um, instead, after uh, bishop takes d5, um, they took on e7. I did take with the king. Bishop e2 was played. But one thing else to mention here is, after knight takes d5, there is a tactic. But it's not what I thought was possible here. Um, I didn't spend a lot of time. And again, I mentioned in an earlier game... From this tournament i was kind of rushing my moves i was just playing quickly in general uh here if i just take on h4 this is an excellent position uh they have to move their knight once they move their knight i play something like queen c7 takes on e5 uh, bishop to e7 we have the bishop pair they have a weak pawn on e5 this is actually pretty much winning uh already which is pretty sad but unfortunately, I didn't see that. I took on d5 because I thought there was a2 tricks. I was just too happy to see that. But uh, now I 
know, hey, when there's a lot of captures and a lot of stuff going on, think just for like 30 seconds. Just, even if it looks stupid, bishop takes h4, calculate it. Just see, okay, bishop takes h4, what's, th what's their threat? Like, even if you know it's going to lose against you somehow, find it. Because, hey, if it doesn't, then awesome. Then you can play a move that's like really tricky too. So uh, that was a lost experience there. Bishop takes, king takes, uh, bishop to e2. So uh, I took on f4, um, winning a pawn uh, permanently here. But it's just, um, I didn't. I wasn't able to get enough for it. I played queen d6, really hoping for a queen trade. If we get a queen trade in these positions, yeah, that's um, that's actually significant. But of course, they don't go for that. Because my king is weaker than theirs. Queen h4 check. I played g5. Queen f2. And I offered a trade with uh, queen to f4 here. So, uh, if they trade, takes, takes. Um, if they play some sort of rook f1, obviously I just take on, on g2 here. Um, and we just uh, trade these two pawns. But because of my pawns in the center and my pawn up, I think there's significant uh, winning chances here. And I'm very close to winning. Um, but of course, my opponent doesn't do that. Uh, they play queen c5 check. And now I'm in a pickle. If I play something like king f6, that's a fun way to lose the game uh, with rook f1. Uh, so queen d6, queen f4. And sure, I can still play on with some sort of like rook c8. And then if they play rook f1, play f5. I did consider uh, moves like this. I was really just worried about uh, bishop to f3 here um, with one of these moves coming. So if I play... Let's just say f5 or maybe king f8. Uh, takes, takes. Uh, my d pawn is now isolated. At the same time, it is an extra pawn. Um, but already, we can just see a tactic with, with queen d4 winning it back just because the rook is attacked as well. So uh, I just saw a lot of variations like this and I got scared. And my calculation uh, isn't that great and wasn't that great, especially back then. So I just played queen f4 and uh, went for repetition. And they were lower rated, so that was a bit unfortunate getting a draw in a position. Um, that's a bit messy where I'm up a pawn, but my king's still in the center, and I thought that they might have some compensation for it, and uh, it's kind of hard for me to find a good plan to continue. So that is how my first tournament went, and my final tournament game in this tournament. So... Uh, that's a lot of tournaments, saying tournament in, uh, in sentences there. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a bit of a shorter one because, well, it was, it was a quick draw. But there were some interesting points in it. And it also revealed one of my big new openings that I've been playing uh, since we didn't get to see that yet. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next tournament that I played uh, soon after this. Have a good one. Bye-bye.